Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Uh, this one is around uh, Xbox emulation uh, in retail mode. Now, um, <clears throat> the things have changed slightly recently. So I know I've posted some videos in the past about how to do, how to run emulation on, on your Xbox in retail mode. Uh, but things have changed since then, so I thought I'd do a quick update video um, just to kind of clarify things. Um, it's pretty, I guess it's not hot for press news, but it's relatively new news. So in the past you could, um, you could download uh, the apps from the, from the App Store links. But, you know, you go, you went to their Xbox um, and Xbox Emulation Hub Discord server. You could get links there, and it would give you links to the, into the Microsoft Store. But you'd run on the Xbox and download emulators such as RetroArch, Dolphin, etc. Um, and then I think it's April time. Microsoft uh, locked that down. They banned it basically, so you you couldn't run it in retail mode. Um, you, had, you got a message pop up on your screen if you if you had it pre-installed already. He had a message to say that it violated policy or something along those lines and you basically couldn't run it. Um, so obviously that went away but now people have found or a certain group of developers um, have found a way around it. So um, yes for now you can you can get emulation back on in retail mode and it's basically these guys here. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, then you, I guess the downside to it is you have to pay for it. Um, I mean, it is relatively cheap. I mean, I'm in the UK, it's, it's, it's in pounds, but it's, it's roughly, you know, roughly two dollars, two pounds per month. So it's not not very much. I guess it's how much. It's down to how much you want to be able to run um, emulators in retail mode. Um, so yeah, they, they basically got a, a workaround which they've been working on, um, and, and it's, it's working. It's up and running now. People are using it. So it works in much the same way. Um, you basically become a patron. You, you get links, I believe, to their Discord server. Um, and then if you're a patron, you, you, you get the links to um, basically open up a browser on your Xbox, just as you did before, browse to a link, it'll open up uh, a link to the Microsoft Store and download an app. I think they've done it slightly differently now, whereas before you had sort of several apps you could download, you had the RetroArch app, you had the FTP app, you had Dolphin, etc. Now they have one single app that you download, and then once you launch that app, from there you can then install the, uh, the applications. So. Yeah, like I say, it's so retail mode is now now back. You can run your emulators. You have to pay two pound, two dollars a month to do it. So I guess the options there. As always, you know, as has always been the case, developer mode is still there, it's still available. And I think the, the same guys provide access um, for that as well. So I mean, obviously this is a new workaround they found. I mean, you, you'd imagine at some point Microsoft would discover what they how they've done it and, and ban it. And they might then tweak it and change it and come back again. So you kind of, you know, the situation where it's a bit sort of, you know, um, a whack-a-mole type thing, a chicken egg, they'll be like, you know, they'll find a workaround, much will ban it. They'll find another workaround, much will ban that. So it could be up and down. So if, if you, you know, you like doing emulation a lot, um, it's probably best to do developer mode. Again, there is a cost for that, but it's a one-off cost. And it's roughly $20, obviously depending on where you are in the world. You pay that one-off fee, and you basically get a developer account, and then you can take your Xbox and switch it into developer mode. And you can you can also switch back and forth as much as you like. So when you're in retail mode, for those who don't know, you basically Xbox acts as an off-the-shelf retail Xbox. You can play standard retail games, etc. You if you then switch into developer mode, which is meant for developing and testing applications, you can do all that. You can then quite easily put on RetroArch and other emulators, etc and run them. However, you can't run retail games when you're in dev mode. Um, so that's just something to consider. I mean, it might be handy if you, if you had a second Xbox or an older Xbox that you might live in developer mode all the time. If you've got a single Xbox, you'd have to keep switching backs and forwards if you want to play a retail game versus if you want to do emulation. So there's kind of pros and cons, but I think developer certainly right now and, and for a while is probably the safer option in the way that, I say safer, in, in that it's more reliable you know it's, it's going to work where in retail mode Microsoft could ban it at any point and then you you, know, you could come along one day to play a game and, and find it doesn't work so, so yeah I guess that, that's a quick update so it, I guess it's just a, an update in reference to my previous videos which I guess are a little bit outdated now and the fact that things have changed and moved on a bit so yeah like I said I'll leave the link in here it's sort of down to you guys if you want to do it or not and obviously I'm literally just here passing on information I, I've got no link to these guys at all um, I've just basically what I've read online 
and yeah chucked into a quick, quick video so hopefully it's, it's useful um outline some options um any questions just drop in the comments like as always i've got a facebook group now for the for the channel i've also got discord server so um it's it's easier to come and chat and ask questions on there to be honest because the, the comments system on, on youtube can be a bit confusing where we've got multiple videos you've got comments and then replies and i think you know i do my best um to reply to every single comment but sometimes if you then get a, a second reply to it i don't always see that or it's not easy to see um so so yeah facebook and discord um and yeah hopefully it's useful so i'm still carrying on with the other series of videos as well and other bits and pieces so if you find it useful please, please give the give the video a like and please subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one